Hey, this is Coach Jason here at Art of War MMA and Fitness. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of different medicine ball throws. The chest pass and the side throw. They're both excellent ways of improving your upper body and your core and hip power and speed. Remember, this is on the speed end of that force velocity continuum that I was talking about earlier. So this would be considered light implement training, right? So we are using some resistance, but it's a very small resistance as opposed to more traditional strength training where we're moving heavy weights at a very slow speed, right? You really need to be doing both of these things and, it, and other things in between like Olympic lifting and pushing a heavy sled to fully develop your strength, your power, and your speed. Um, and also just remember, you know, throwing a medicine ball is great, doing sprints is great, but until you have a good base of strength, right, you're never going to be truly fast, um, truly explosive, right? So strength is a necessary but not sufficient condition to develop speed, power, and agility. Uh, you're not going to find somebody who's fast, who's weak. Right? You're not going to find those people. You will sometimes find people who are extremely strong, but they're not particularly fast because they don't do any of this type of training. So again, we really, as martial artists, or, and just really any athlete in general, if you want to improve um, your speed, your power, your agility, you have to be doing everything from unresisted movements at high speed to lightly resisted movements to moderately resisted movements like Olympic lifting and sled pushing and those heavy strength training movements that are gonna be the foundation of all your physical abilities. Uh, there's a few medicine ball throws, a very common medicine ball throws that you can use, and it's basically developing the speed and power of my upper body. Um, I could just do something simple like in boxing, right, and just throw a couple punches, so now I'm moving with zero resistance, okay? Uh, just moving my own fist through, through space. If I wanna add a little bit of resistance, such as an eight or ten pound medicine ball, Right now we're into the category called light implement training. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of really simple medicine ball techniques. They're gonna improve your upper body power, right? Your upper body speed. Um, and it's gonna do it in a little bit different way than we could do in martial arts. Okay, so the first one is called a chest pass. When we do a medicine ball chest pass, uh, what I like to do is I like to start in this athletic position here, a little bit of a bend in my knees. I'm gonna alternate stepping forward with my left foot and my right foot. So let me demonstrate here. All right, so I'm going to start in this athletic stance. I'm going to take a little step with my leg, and I'm going to throw. Okay. And you'll notice I'm changing my level a little bit. I'm getting a little bit lower as I take that step. Okay. I'm trying to keep my back straight, step, and throw. Now I would generally recommend doing these in sets of like six to 10 reps. If I do it uh, much more than that, now I'm starting to get fatigued and then we're gonna not be able to throw the medicine ball as fast, right? So then we're not gonna be working on speed. At that point, we would be working on speed endurance, right? Which is a separate topic. So that is the chest pass. I'm using a crash pad, by the way. In many facilities, you might just throw a medicine ball into a concrete wall. In fact, there's medicine balls that are specifically designed to be thrown against concrete walls. This is a traditional medicine ball, so I'm gonna throw it into our crash pad here that we would practice our throws on. I wanna show you another medicine ball drill, um, which is a side shuffle. I'm gonna take a side shuffle like so, and I'm gonna keep this back foot on the ground, and I'm gonna rotate and throw my, the medicine ball. It's almost like in boxing if you throw a body punch. So I'm gonna change level, I'm gonna get a side shuffle, I'm gonna get my hips involved in turning, okay? So I'm right-handed, so I'll do a couple on my left-handed side, and then I'll turn around and I'll do a couple on my right-handed side, which I'm a little bit better at the right-handed side. So I'm gonna go like this. Get my distance, get in that good athletic stance, shuffle. Okay. So once again, if you watch my lower body, you're going to see that. So not only am I working my transverse abdominis, I'm working my obliques, I'm also getting my glutes involved, right? Working my chest, my triceps, and so there's a lot of muscles involved in that movement. Yeah, so I'll grab it here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn around, I'm going to do a couple right-handed. You're going to see it looks a little bit smoother because I am right-handed, so. 
this. Those two patterns are called the chest pass and the shuffle throw. Okay, that's just what I call them. There's other names for those patterns. And there's other ways to throw the medicine ball. Those are just two really easy ones that you can use to improve your upper body speed as well as the speed in your hips and, and core. Your ability to generate force quickly.